What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the subject ecology? Boarding? Complicated? Hard to understand? These are just some notions I heard from students saying about ecology on my first few years of teaching. It is quite difficult to hear such comments as a biology teacher which really got me thinking what can I do to make this subject enjoyable, exciting, easy to understand, and simple. Hi everyone! I'm Nestor L. Lasala Jr. and today I'm going to talk about game-based activities in teaching Grade 7 Biology. Statistics and performance tests show that there's a big gap that we need to address in science education. A lot of factors could contribute to this gap and among those is the challenge in producing effective instructions today. Since the use of games in teaching had been getting attention as the demand to solicit in the subject increases, this research supports the idea that games can be used for educational purposes. I feel that games could provide great learning experiences and great tools used in improving the instruction in the classroom. And while viewing the literature and studies for this research, I came up with four research questions I want to be addressed in the study. First, what game-based activities may be developed for use in teaching ecosystem topics? Second, what lessons integrating game-based activities may be designed with the following pictures? Active learning pictures collaborative learning features, and inquiry-based learning features. Third, what is the nature of learners' engagement during the conduct of game-based activities? And last, what are the effects of game-based activities in enhancing the students in terms of conceptual understanding, motivation in learning, and social skills? The research conducted to answer these questions was done using game-based activities developed, adapted, or enhanced by the researcher. A total of four game-based activities were developed for ecology topics, namely the Conquest, Echo Dama, Echo Challenge, and Echo Warrior. This is to determine if game-based activities indeed help students take interest in the subject and understand it better. A total of 66 students were the respondents of this study, wherein 33 of them are taught for the same topic, integrating game-based activities, while no such integration is done for the other half of the respondents. This study utilized quasi-experimental non-equivalent control group pre-test post-test design particularly in determining the effect of developed game-based activities in conceptual understanding of the student and static group comparison design to know the effect of game-based activities in the motivation and social skills of the students. Mixed method approach that involves both quantitative and qualitative techniques was implemented in this study. This specifically utilized sequential explanatory design which is characterized by the collection of quantitative data followed by the qualitative data where the latter supports the finding and explanation of the former. This is to balance the weakness of both quantitative and qualitative approaches, allowing the study to explore various ways to analyze data. Quantitative approach was used to evaluate the result of expert validation on the developed game-based activities, presence of features of active learning, collaborative learning, and inquiry-based learning on the developed lessons, 
nature of student engagement, pre-test and post-test, post-intrinsic motivation inventory, and self-report on social skills. Having this kind of approaches when it comes to gathering and treatment of data assures the reliability and validity of the data and result of the study. Through this study, I was able to obtain the answers to the research questions. Based on the qualitative and quantitative analysis, lessons integrating these game-based activities encourage active, collaborative, and inquiry-based learning. One important finding of this study is the improvement of students' engagement. Students' engagement was improved and reinforced by making their achievement explicit which naturally comes in the play environment as winners or accomplishments become known at the end of the game-based activities. It's also interesting to know that the result of compared sample t-test and Cohen's d-value favors experimental groups better conceptual understanding based on the post-test result. As I mentioned earlier, games or game-based activities offer unique learning opportunities to the students. In this study, it shows that students feel more involved in the subject or lesson through the use of game-based activities that they started understanding it better. This study also showed promising results for the students' social skills and motivation. Man Whitney Utes and coins the value and self-report on social skills also shows greater motivation in learning and social skills for experimental group. This implies that the use of game-based activities is really effective when it comes to helping others develop interest in the subject or lesson. Game-based activities can also be utilized more effectively in connecting students because of its collaborative feature. In conclusion, I would like to point out that integrating game-based activities in teaching ecosystem topics could make the lessons motivating and engaging. Here lies the greatest advantage of the use of game-based activities in the lessons. It also shows that students had better learning experiences as integrated game-based activities can enhance their conceptual understanding, motivation in learning, and social skills as reported by the students, observers, teachers, and with the support of statistical records. While further studies on the integration of game-based activities in teaching biology using other variables may also strengthen this study. It is also recommended to use the developed game-based activities integrated in the lesson to enhance science education. Thank you so much for staying with me as I present this study. That will be all. Again, thank you.